So what is the table name that you have to remember when you need to select address data of any customer, vendor or anyone? What is the table you have to remember for address data? Yeah. What is it? ADRC. Yeah. ADRC. ADRC. ADRC is the table for address data. So here address number is the primary key. In ADRC table, address number is the primary key. Okay. So if you need to find the address of a customer, first you have to go to that customer master data and you have to find address number. And then use that address number in ADRC to find the address. Okay. okay. I've added the address number right here. Now let's test it. So this is displaying the address right automatically whatever the address available in this address number. Yes. Right? So we can also use uh, we can also design our own address layout by using by using some select statement we can fetch the data and display here. Okay. Clear. So is it clear? So please observe here here different types of address types are here that is organization person workplace address determined dynamically. So organization means some company address address number personal address means you can provide employee ID Perner, we call it as Perner. We can also pass that. Okay. We have different options. Please explore those options. Okay. So this is how we find the address number, but you have to remember address ADRC. It is very important. Okay, now we are done with the logo and we are done with the address. Now we'll print some dynamic data, which 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 we are populating from dynamic uh, program. Okay. Go to main window. I want to print the data in main window. Main window. Right click, create text. You can create different options like text. Okay, address graphic. You can also Create those in main window. Okay. I'm selecting text. Here it is displaying some editor, right? Please yes. observe this. Here you can type your free text. That's that is constant data. This is constant data. Okay. Now just activate it and check how it is displaying.
you observe here it is displaying the text right yes now this is not dynamic data whatever the data we type that will display for our, for every customer this is not going to change it is a constant static text we call it a static text now let's design some const, uh, dynamic data so this we are displaying in main window please remember this we are displaying in main window also i will show you something see i'm just pasting some repeated data i'm just activating it just observe i'm just i'm just using some repeated data just see how the main window will uh, work so if main window is working so we should see multiple pages now see how many pages we are able to see now so the, the data is printed in the first page if it is not enough it should navigate to the second page so right so here you can navigate to the different pages previous page next page go to next page so it's printed the second page with some empty data okay if you keep more text the text will display here also okay removing everything okay so in output options you can format this text what is the alignment of the text okay everything you can format here and again in conditions if you want to add any condition if you want to display the data based on some condition you can use those conditions here if customer id equal to so and so then only display this data then in that case you can use conditions okay clear okay also we'll print some dynamic data here in main window create one more text i'm creating one more text create in main window i'm creating it in main window please observe text so we'll print some dynamic data here i'm changing the name um material data so to print the dynamic data what we have to do for example material number material type industry sector created date i am going to print this data this data should come from table okay this data should come from table for this select this option this is this is standard text this is static text this is like field label 
but the value should be different right for each material value should be different right for each material for yes. the dynamic values place the cursor here and select uh, insert field select insert field and uh, within the this symbol what is our importing parameter what is our importing parameter name I am underscore Mara. Mara. I am underscore Mara, not Mara. Okay, Mara hyphen Matner. This is the dynamic data. Please observe. Okay, and for material type, again, insert field. M T A R T. This should also print dynamically. Go to insert field. E R D A T is the created date, I think. I don't remember this field name, industry sector. Uh, for now, I'll just use some name. I'll just use some IT. It is static text. text. I am not displaying it from the table. Please remember. Okay. Save. Check. So ERDAT, so there is no component called ERDAT, but uh, there is a com ERSDA. What is the, go to Mara table and check what is the created date. Okay, created on is ERSDA, there is no ERDAT. So how to, how to change it, how to change it, don't, don't change here, don't change here. If you change here, it won't print properly. Okay. Please don't change here and remove this. Go to insert field and again. Clear. All the dynamic fields you should do like that only. Go to insert field and do, do the changes. Clear. Also, you can also change the editor. Here it is uh, Windows, uh, like uh, sorry, um, Word based editor. It is Microsoft Word based editor. You can also see this line line editor here. This is the line editor. Okay. But Word based editor is uh, convenient. Okay. So whatever the data highlighted here. Those are all dynamic data which are coming from the importing parameter. Now let's test the form. This is just a simple form, okay? Simple form. There are a lot of options we have to explore in uh, smart forms like printing tabular data. No. So now we are displaying some dynamic data, right? Go to IM underscore Mara importing parameter and enter some data. Some data. Mm, 10, 0, 1, 20, 22. I don't know whether it is a correct date format or not. MTART is a FERT. Okay, go back. 
okay looks like it is expecting dots mm. print print preview it is printing the data right yes but this this is printing after uh, our dynamic data let's move i move i am moving that text to the top just drag and drop okay now i move okay. the text to the top position you can also make it bold okay bold or italic color you can apply some color also okay you can also use some border okay now now print some terms and conditions at the end so what is the window that is suitable for terms and conditions secondary window because terms and conditions won't uh, usually at the end right at the end of the page usually terms and conditions will be at the end of the page so go to i'm naming t e r terms okay terms and conditions and uh, go to, go to, go here and create text create text terms okay i'll just copy from online some terms and conditions so i'm just pasting just some content okay as terms and conditions save okay form is activated now let's test the form perfect and provide the data since we are testing it we are entering the data here okay otherwise we should call it in our driver program and pass the data it is empty rt Yeah, fade. Thank you, man. Five two.
go back and execute print preview right so there is a lot of gap between here we have to adjust them okay okay we have to adjust that gap clear this is the general designing of a smart form it is same okay depends on the data depends on the complexity we, we may need to use multiple fields or tabular display etc okay so this is designing of the form is completed designing of the form is completed okay now we have to call it in our driver program how to trigger that form how to trigger this form we can trigger this form using a driver program okay We'll trigger this form using a driver program we'll be ha also having a uh, heading also you can use some heading here you can create a window text and place the heading here okay okay now let's call our smart form in a program Go to SC thirty eight. Okay, create the program. Execute. So here we'll take material number as input. Okay. Okay. P underscore matner as input. We'll make it mandatory. And okay. uh, select star from Mara. Into into table LT underscore where at my equal to P underscore matner. If S Y F N sub R C equal to zero, so usually what we are doing, we are just displaying as A L V report, right? You know how to display the A L V report using this L T underscore Mara data. But but now we'll display it as a print layout. We'll trigger the print layout. How to trigger the print layout? We need to call that function module. Do you remember? We need to call the smart form function module. What is the function module for this smart form? What is the function module for this smart form? Oh. Hmm? Just execute. This is the function module for this smart form. Okay. So this is the function module for this smart form. Got it? Is it clear how to get the function module of the smart form? Okay. Just execute the form. It will display the function module. Okay. Now call the smart form. Go to pattern and enter the smart form function module name and call it. 
This is the importing parameter, right? IM underscore Mara. Yes. Both are same types or not? IM underscore Mara. IM underscore Mara and uh, the data which we are selecting. Both are same types with same fields and same order or not? Same order. We are selecting select star. That means we are selecting all the fields of the Mara table. What is the type we are using for IM underscore Mara? It is Mara only, right? Total table we are using, complete table we are using, right? Yes. In the smart form. Go to form interface and check. We are using Mara only, right? So this contains all the fields of the Mara table. And we are selecting here all the fields of the Mara table into this internal table. That means both structures are compatible. I am underscore Mara and our internal table, right? Yes. So we don't have any exporting parameters. We have exporting parameters, but we are not using them. Okay. That's it. You can handle the exceptions using sub RC, sub RC value. Check, activate. Now, now execute the program. Select one material number. Dumb. Formatting error. So there is an issue with the call function. We'll see what is that error. Mm. We did not activate the exceptions and we activated this. Okay. Activate the exceptions also. Call now. Again. We have an error. What is it? Different type. Okay. The function module interface allow you to specify IM underscore Mara. The field LD underscore Mara specified is a different field type. So there is an error. So I believe that is due to our inline declaration. It is not able to recognize our inline declaration. For that reason, we'll use uh, one internal table. Instead of inline declaration type. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So, what are we doing here? What is our uh, structure? Is it a work area like structure or internal table structure? Work area. work area like structure, right? But what are we passing here? We are selecting multiple records LT underscore Mara into internal table and we are passing the internal table to this work area like structure. We have to use uh, select. select single into work area. So both are not compatible. We are, that is a work area like structure and we are passing internal table like structure. Pretty printer activate. Now let's check. print preview so it is displaying the data right yes is it clear how to call the smart form in the driver program we have to call that function yes. module function. but this is the this is not the actual method or actual uh, preferred method to call the smart form in your driver program. You should not directly call this function module. Still it is working, but you should not call smart form function module directly in your driver program. Why? What is the system landscape? What is your system landscape? Project system landscape. Hmm? 
forgot no forgot landscape development system test system production system product production data right yes sir development to test no and the production broad so what you do once you design the smart farm in development system what you will do after completion of the development you will move it to the test system right yes then once the testing is completed and you will be moving that uh, uh, smart farm production. production system so why i am saying we should not directly call our smart farm function module name in our driver program is here this function module will be generated dynamically based on the function module names available in dev system so once you move the smart farm to the test system it will generate a different function module not the same function module in test system it's going to generate a different function module name and when you move the farm to the production system it will generate a different function module name in production system in a sequence okay, okay. so the function module name name will be changed in test system and the production system but if you call function module name of the dev system in your program when you transport your program to the test system that function module will not be available in test system then your program is not going to work okay right okay when you move it to the production system there it is a different function module your program is not going to work for that reason don't call your smart farm function module name directly in your driver program it will work okay. in dev system it will work in dev system because this function module name is available in dev system but when you move farm to the test system there there it will be assigned with a different function module name not the same function module name that farm will be assigned with a different function module name then your program is not going to work for that reason we use a a special function module to call the smart farm that is it is very important interview question they will ask you how to call smart farm in your driver program you should not simply say that uh, we need to call smart farm using the smart farm function module so we need to call smart farm using ssf underscore let, let me tell you the name we have a yeah ssf underscore function module underscore name by using this uh, we need to call our smart farm okay so what is the function module we used to call the smart farms or adobe SSF. farms ssf SSF. underscore function module function underscore module. name what it will do what it will do what is the input for this function module input for this function module is the farm name smart farm name What is the input for this SSF function module name? Smart farm name. Smart farm name. Whatever the smart farm name, that is we have to pass here. What is the output? Enable the importing parameter. What is the output? Function module name. What it's going to return? Next porting. Function module name of the smart farm. Clear? let's just define that variable lv underscore fm name type use the same data element which is available in exporting parameter like this okay oh. now pass this to here to in the importing parameter so what is the input for ssf function module name smart farm smart farm name smart farm or adobe farm process is same for both the smart farms and adobe farms okay this process is same for both the smart farms and adobe farms so what we are passing to this function module we are passing this smart farm name if it is adobe farm we have to pass the adobe farm name what it will return the function module name of the farm the function module name of the smart farm okay 
क्लियर क्लियर ओके सो व्हेन यू ट्रांसपोर्ट दिस प्रोग्राम टू टेस्ट सिस्टम सो दिस फंक्शन मॉड्यूल विल एग्जीक्यूट द फॉर्म नेम वर्ड चेंज द फॉर्म नो फॉर्म नेम विल बी सेम इन ऑल द थ्री सर्वर्स बट ओनली फंक्शन मॉड्यूल नेम विल चेंज सो we pass the form name and we'll get the function module name whatever the function module name available in test system we are going to get that simply copy this lv underscore form name so in place of this function module name right just use lv underscore f name don't change anything remaining things are same okay okay just replace function module name with uh, this variable lv underscore f name right if sub rc equal to zero use this exception handling if sub rc equal to zero then call the function and if clear okay first as usually first as usually call smart form function module name here use smart form function module name and call your function module and pass the importing parameters and then later above this call the ssf function module and provide the form name and return the function module name and just replace that function module name with the that variable this variable okay that that is the process first call your function module smart form function module as usual then pass the importing parameters then call ssf function module on top of this function module smart form function module and pass the form name and return the function module name and pass in place of that function module hard coded function module pass your lv underscore f name variable so whatever the function module available that will be called here okay because importing okay. exporting all these parameters are same only name will be different in test system and production system here yeah. okay check activate this is very important interview question how to call smart form in your driver program or how to call adobe form in your driver program how to call using ssf function module name using a function module that is ssf underscore function module underscore name what is the input for this function module form name. what is the output the function module name of the smart form test this provide the input material number print preview we got the same output right we got the same output right yes correct okay
Okay. Okay. So any questions? So these are uh, smart forms. The complex will like we we have different form layouts. We need to practice that. Okay, using different different input options. So here we have taken only single importing parameter. You may you, you can take multiple importing parameters also. Okay, and you have to pass data in the driver program. Just like how we pass data to the importing parameters. Nothing different. Clear? Okay. So the important interview questions in the smart form are what are the different types of windows in smart forms main window secondary window copies window and final window okay the other interview question is can we create a smart form without main window yes we can create without main window main window is not mandatory but when we use main window when our data needs to be flowed flowed to the next page depends on the size then we use the main window okay and the other interview question is how to call smart form in your driver program your answer we have to use ssf function module to call the fun uh, smart form in our driver program because the function module name will be different in test and production systems okay and there is one more interview question that is what is the difference between table and template in smart forms table is uh, extended so it will extend the width depends on the data template is uh, static I'll, I'll i'll tell you tomorrow tomorrow's class okay so you know right how to upload the graphic how to print the graphic in smart form what is the transaction code what is the transaction code to upload the graphics or print the graphics sc78 sc78 okay Okay.